So let's practice sequences in our one octave major scale shape. Let's start off with groups of three ascending notes. We're going to start on the third fret of the sixth string, so that's a G. So we're playing in the G major scale. Let's try slowly first without a metronome, trying to work our way through it. If you need to pause to figure it out, that's fine. You can finish this video another time, but be sure to add a recording of how you sound now so that you have a record of your progress for the future. Okay, ready? Starting from the root note, G. Three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. Just up like this, all the way to the top. And you'll need to play one note above the root and come back down. Let's try it a bit faster now. No pauses in between the groups. Ready? Three, four, one, two, three, two, three, four. It might take a few weeks to start seeing improvements in fluidity, but just keep at it. Every time you practice, you're helping to embed these patterns into your muscle memory. One good way to practice is to break the groups up, like we did the first time we played, leaving some space in between each of the groups. And then, when you feel more comfortable, you can start trying to join them together seamlessly. When you start to feel more comfortable, incorporate the metronome and slowly start to build up your speed. When you feel very comfortable with groups of three, take it a step further with groups of four. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. All the way up, all the way up, and then you will need to go two notes above the root before you resolve. It's perfectly normal to feel frustrated and feeling like your fingers just won't do what they're told. But know that when you feel that sensation, that frustration, that means that you're practicing and that's how you're gonna make progress. We're gonna play over a D major backing track now. So find the root at the 10th fret of the sixth string. We're gonna try and combine scale shape sequences and single string sequences. So we're gonna be playing across the fretboard and along the fretboard as well. Remember you can piece these one octave scale shapes together at the root notes, as long as you remember to be aware of the kink between the G and B strings. Okay, ready? Starting on 10th fret of the low E string. Now I'm going to try single string soloing on this A string. I found a root here because I've got one of these half step pairs and I know that the higher note is the root. So I'm going to piece that one octave scale shape together here. Single string soloing from the D string. Just going up. Up. 
and I found another root note here. So I can play the one octave scale shape across the strings. Mindful of the kink between the G and the B strings. Single string soloing now. So just play around doing these scale shape and single string soloing and it's really going to help you start feeling more confident as you move around the fretboard learning to play by ear. Don't worry if it sounds janky and awkward right now. Remember this is a multi-year commitment you're making. The fluency will develop over time but you just have to keep trying, keep practicing. The act of repetition is what's going to help deepen those neural pathways responsible for musical expression. The more time you put in, the better you're going to become and the more fun you're going to have as well when you start to develop that fluency and expressiveness in your playing.